Good afternoon. Today is April 13, 2011. I'm in Manhattan. I'm at the movie studio on this block. And I just wanted to say that I'd like to thank Jason Hilliard for being such a stand-up guy. Jason Hilliard is a staffer with Congressman Gregory W. Mix. We met while I was getting on the A train and Jason Hilliard defended his boss in true fashion. That's right. Jason Hilliard said that it was his office that either Carla or Ida received Ida Smith, my former hand, that received a phone call and felt, it felt nervous. Well, they've been feeling nervous for a long time. They didn't call the police before. They did not do wrong. I wasn't going to go kill nobody. I wasn't going to go hurt nobody. But if I tell you, I'm going to have to go bust your behind in court because you stole my stuff and I start talking about you and blast over the internet. I've been doing that to everybody else. You ain't no different. You watched him take a hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff out of my house. You watched my business destroyed. You got connections with all these people, the Leandro Law. I got a little contract to put a hundred thousand breath testers in New York State. We'd have been all right. I could have moved. I spent a hundred thousand dollars worth of intellectual currency, work product and cash over a hundred thousand dollars on the litigation that's at least a quarter million bucks for a black nigga in america i could get me a white girl look like that one with that kind of money because poor broads ain't shit and most of them are black i don't want one women with money ain't the piece of shit that poor black bitches are what do you want from me I'm a Haitian French green card guy that assimilated into your African American culture like a freaking tapeworm in your ass. When you eat, I eat. When you shit, I shit. You didn't get a phone call, you got an email. With me taking a crap in a toilet bowl and showing you I had form because it was you, Ida Smith that sent me to the VA to be medicated, to be made calm. And that was supported by your questions of you asking me whenever I came to the congressman's office, are you calm? Did you take your medication? Are you taking responsibility? That is pro programming me. I know what you're doing. I'm a behavioral science, I'm a behavioral scientist, behavioral science specialist. I do this for a living. And I've been working on you guys, every single one of y'all. The congressman, two New York State senators, an assemblywoman, and a council. And I got so much of your democratic secrets, I swear. What I'm doing today, you're going to see it on the internet. Then the rest, you're going to see it on television. Then you're going to see my book come out. That's right after I take all you black politicians to court in the 6th Congressional District, from the councilman to the congressman, with John B. Rhea, a black N-word traitor to his race. And you guys can thank this woman called Danielle. I don't know if it's a woman, a man, or whatever. That's behind that picture. That's, you know what she said to me? Totally took my butt out. Is that reasonable talk? I'm not disrespecting no women. And she's a veteran's advocate. I think she meant it. It's been changing me. It's been changing me. 
had to reform my life, reform myself. And look at that. Cute white girl with good credit. I took a vow of celibacy 10 years ago. And I said, I'm going to take care of my mother and make a living as long as she can and straighten my life up and make my family proud. So I took a vow of celibacy. Not going to touch no women. It's not a joke. This is for real. You know how many years, I mean, I spent a couple of decades in Manhattan, man. Working for some of the largest conglomerates on this planet. I'm a great guy, man. Y'all betrayed me. Y'all used me for your little Democratic Party games. And I have to punish you for it. And re enslave you with a debt you can't pay as a bunch of black nigga traded to your race. What do you want from me? I got to get my money back, so I got to sell your black ass down the river. That's all there is to that. The congressman, the commissioner of housing, two New York state senators, assemblywoman, and a council. I got it. It's business. Nothing personal. I love you guys. I like Monica Pringle and the girls in there. But they be trying to get somebody's uh, penis erected in order for them to not do shit. That's black. I'm a federal whistleblower that brought to your offices evidence of a redlining scheme, diversion of funds, civil rights violations, and you black Negro traitors to your race, bunch of ignorant imbeciles, didn't do jack about the evidence, and you didn't even protect me for me to keep my mouth shut, so what kind of Willie Lynch chip do you want to put in me? I gotta bust your ass in court and prove to everybody how great I was and what Ida contained so well. Yeah, baby! I'm gonna make you famous! Jason Hilliard fought for you. You shouldn't have betrayed Ida all of them. Ida, it cost me too much money. It cost me too much blood. It cost me too much. I gotta take your boss down along with the rest of them. I got it. In court on paper. I ain't no threat to nobody. I don't even wanna stick my dick in none of y'all. Let alone touch anything to do with you people. Nothing. Nothing. I want to be left alone to concentrate on my work and regain my economy and you are my currency to freaking harvest and it's mine. I will not be denied. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever, ever again. You all destroyed my life by not protecting the group of people. It's your job to protect, and you are crooked, and I'm selling all your Democratic secret, Democratic Party secrets. I'm going to sell you all down the river. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's done. I'm here at the studio, and I'm about to go to the publisher of a prominent newspaper tomorrow. I'm going to bust your ass. You're a bunch of black nigga traitors to your race, man. Everything I lost, that's the price I paid to harvest you. That's my property, my com my commodity. This is how you say shit. Je ne pas faire ça. Ce n'est pas ma faute. Je t'aime beaucoup, mais ce n'est pas ma faute. Tu as fait ce que tu as, ce que tu as gagné aujourd'hui. C'est ta faute. Ce n'est pas ma faute. Excusez-moi, chérie. What can I tell you? You guys are busted, and I hope you all lose your seats. The Political Action Committee, I ain't got time to waste with y'all. Just want to publish my books, make my money, go on with my life. Just purely business. Purely business. Nothing else. Purely business. Purely business what I'm doing to you. Because you neglected me, you hurt me, you cost me too much, and you embarrassed your whole race, your families, 
I mean, damn, you guys. Now you see what it's like. <laughs> I told you. I'm smarter than you and every one of your staffers. Because you're too stupid to give me a phone call or write me a letter and fix this. And y'all can fix it. Y'all got the power. Fix it. If you don't fix it. The 2011-2012 fiscal year. That very first month. I bust your ass in court and fuck over you. And my book comes out in March. Let's see what happens to you at the next election cycle. That's the presidential and mayoral uh, election cycle in New York City. <laughs> wow. I ain't got nothing else to say to you guys. I don't. I'm too happy. I'm not even mad no more. Why? I'm in New York City. I'm in Manhattan. And I'm untouchable. I've been like that all my life. What you guys did, you must be repunished and re enslaved. Hey, everybody. Today is Wednesday, uh, April 13. This is the guy I've been telling you about. This is his picture right here. And this is all the Telly Awards. You see that, Daniela? I told you, this is the guy to call. This is my guy. Yeah, I'm in the is, studio. It's too messy here. I no, mean, no, no. Look, look at, you see all these Telly Awards? You see all of this? You see all too that? That's things. my guy. I ain't putting his face on TV because everybody knows what to do. But guess what? I love my big brother. <laughs> and now I'm in the studio. We're going to work. You all have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh, action. Okay. You see this? I want to get a trophy like this after I conquer everybody who's done anything to destroy my life for no good reason. <laughs> I love you, my fans. And here's to you. Bye-bye. Supplemental Law, this is Dr. Philip Dreis. Today's my birthday. And guess what? Uncle Sam has come to town, and guess what he's got? He's got Mrs. Sam. There we go, right there. That's what I'm talking about. What did I tell you people in New York? If she don't look like this, if she's not as precious, as kind, as wonderful, as something like this, guess what? I don't want it. I told you, a cute white girl with good credit, that's the way the brother's going to go. I tried to tell you guys, but I had to come all the way to Florida, sleep with the alligators, almost eaten up by the uh, uh, water moccasins, and guess what? This is Miss Eileen. We are celebrating my birthday, and there's a guy in here called Phil. He's such a computer whiz kid, so help me God, I can actually upload my videos and have no more fear. So help me God. So what do you have to say, Miss Eileen? What do you have to say to me? What do you have to say? Merry Christmas. Merry happy Christmas and happy, happy birthday. New Year. I happy think New Year. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this dog at my feet. Loyalty is what you get from gratitude. Betrayal is a double-edged sword. That's what it is, people. That's what it is. Memoirs, Supplemental Law, Friday, April 15, 2011.